Once in a small village nestled between rolling hills and serene rivers, there lived a wise old woman named May. May was known throughout the village for her tranquility and deep understanding of life. One day, a curious young villager approached her and asked, Why do you seem so content and at peace, even when you are alone? May smiled gently and invited the young villager to sit with her under the ancient cherry blossom tree that stood in the center of the village. She began to share a story. Long ago, in a dense forest, there was a magnificent bamboo grove. Each bamboo shoot stood tall and proud, reaching for the sky. One day, a young bamboo shoot asked its elder, Why do you stand alone on the outskirts of the grove? Shouldn't we all be closer together for support and company? The elder bamboo shoot replied, Dear one, being alone allows me to dance freely with the wind, to absorb the sunlight from all angles, and to grow without the constraints of a crowded space. In solitude, I discover the true strength within myself. The young bamboo shoot didn't understand at first, but as seasons passed, it noticed that the elder bamboo shoot indeed stood taller and more resilient than the others. It learned that there was power in being alone, a strength that came from embracing solitude and self-discovery. In much the same way, May continued, being alone is not about loneliness. It is an opportunity to connect with the essence of who you are. When you spend time in solitude, you learn to listen to the whispers of your own heart, to understand your thoughts and feelings without the influence of others. It is a path to self-discovery and inner strength. The young villager pondered May's words and began to appreciate the wisdom they held. From that day forward, the villager found moments of solitude amidst the bustle of the village. In those quiet moments, they discovered a newfound strength and a profound sense of peace that emanated from within. And so, the village learned from May in the bamboo grove that the power of being alone was not a sign of weakness, but a journey towards self-discovery and inner resilience, a journey that allowed the soul to dance freely with the winds of life. In the tranquil village where May's wisdom blossomed like the cherry trees, the moral of the story unfolded. The power of being alone lies not in isolation, but in the strength discovered within solitude. Just as the elder bamboo shoot thrived on the outskirts of the grove, standing tall and resilient, so too can we find our inner strength when we embrace moments of solitude. In the bustling tapestry of life, take time to pause, reflect, and listen to the whispers of your own heart. Solitude is not an absence of companionship, but an opportunity for self-discovery and growth. It is in these quiet moments that the essence of who you are becomes clear, and the strength within you unfurls like the petals of a blooming flower. As we conclude this tale of wisdom from the village of Serenity, let us carry the message into our own lives. Speak life into the moments of solitude, for within them lies the strength that fuels our journey. Remember, it's not about the absence of others, but the presence of your authentic self. May you find solace in your own company, dance freely with the winds of self-discovery, and speak life into the beautiful narrative of your existence. Until we meet again, may your days be filled with peace, purpose, and the joy that comes from within. Speak life, and let your story unfold with grace.